Hey guys, with us Cancer, thanks for watching, appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacle in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Don't overspend right now. So um, keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. Be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. Also remember, oh, it's a general reading, so just take what's yours, press the sign, if it does resonate, be sure that you like, subscribe, and go. This is how it's kind of coming off. Um, it's interesting. During shuffle, it's like the feminine energy out there doing good, uh, but the initial message was don't overspend because somebody may have financial issues. However, um, for some, you could be single, ready to get back out there and have communication coming in from either a fire sign or someone. Because, yeah, somebody may have realized that they lost something or something may co could cause some type of financial setback. All right, immediate future for cancer. It's coming up. We've got the Knight of Wands, Aries Leo Sash energy, the world Capricorn energy. It looks like something may be changing pretty freaking quickly. What's the outcome for cancer? The wands and the five of wands. Wow, we've got a lot of people competing for you. Definitely a lot of fire energy here, but it doesn't have to be. It could just be the quickness because in the middle of it all, we have something changing with the world. You have the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Hell, you could just be out there doing you, living life. You got multiple people who are wanting your attention here, that's for sure. Show me this Knight of Wands for um, Cancer, please. You're extremely intuitive. You got the High Priestess and the Ace of Cups. For some, you may be moving into a new house, and there also could be a, um, a proposal that's coming. With the Ace of Cups and the uh, High Priestess, there may be a uh, brand new love or like an overflowing amount of love here, but it's almost like you're keeping that to yourself or vice versa. Another way to go is that somebody is completely stressed out about it. Maybe it's about the speed, whatever it is. So love is here, but with the high priestess, you're coming off is incredibly intuitive. So trust your gut. You may have multiple people, like I said, wanting your attention, but there's new love or an overflowing amount of love. It looks like somebody's really stressed out. Um, but with that, they're keeping it to themselves with the high priestess there. It's coming in. I'm not sure, sorry. It's being kept in, not being revealed. Sorry about that, y'all. All right, show me this world. So the, the love is there, but also the stress is there. And when we have the nine of swords crossed by this, this world, it's probably, it's either the, the change that has someone a little nervous or the pace in which it's happening. There's something here. But hell, it could be that you have so many people for you. This person's worried. And you're intuitive. Show me this world for Cancer. Please. The Knight of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Energy could be dealing with another water sign. Damn, in the world. There could be an age difference and you've got a lot of jealousy, but you have a major change coming. It's fated, it's destined, and it's like it's coming at the, the time that it's supposed to be. The will fortune is associated with Jupiter. That's good luck, fate, fortune. Yeah, the ace of pentacles. Wow. This is for some a second chance. There's some type of communication that's coming, but this opportunity is representing itself after it's already been missed before. Or for some, it didn't get missed. You got fed the fuck up or something. So now it's representing itself. It's just been a matter of time. What is this opportunity? You have two aces out here already. So, yeah, you're manifesting this. You have the power to manifest it if you want it. Whatever you are manifesting, you're, especially, you know, if there is something new that's going on, you're doing it the right way. Because whatever you're manifesting is being kept quiet right now. Or vice versa. It could just be, like I said, that the stress or the feelings are um, 
especially the stress. It feels like that's kind of kept in, but that's, I mean, that's normal human energy. But with the magician there, you're manifesting a whole lot of change here. The page of cups, there's so much emotions here. So much communication that's coming, possibly from an Aquarius Libra Gemini. Show me this outcome. These feelings are legit. Show me this outcome. Queen of Wands and the Five of Wands. It's so oh shit. Okay. Wow. You do have multiple people for you, but you're put, you could be dealing with a Libra with the Justice card. It looks like you're taking time. You're planting seeds. You're investing time and energy into something that's balanced, that's equal, that's fair. You're taking your time. This is like, so with this love and this opportunity and this change, and like I said, it could absolutely be something that's brand new. This is making that investment. So like think about growing a garden. You plant the seeds, then you take care of it, and it grows into something that, that you know, like produces. So whatever you are manifesting right now, it looks like you're keeping it to yourself. Do you need to keep it to yourself? Give me one more for the outcome for cancer. Ten of cups. You can't freaking beat it. That's your emotional fulfillment. This makes you happy as hell. The love is real. The feelings are real. Trust your intuition. Trust your gut. Um, you do have choices. And you also have things moving forward. And you're manifesting. So with the two of wands there, and like I was saying, you're keep somebody, you know, keep this to yourself with magician and the high priestess whenever you're manifesting because people try to step on your toes, whether on purpose or not. But um, so we got the two of wands, right? That's kind of where we're at now. When you get to that four of wands, that's when, you know, go all crazy with it, then, you know, start talking about it, start moving towards it. But right now, this is a lot of love. It's overwhelming. Now, it does look like it'll go somewhere that's stable. Possibly some like marriage or something that's long term. Right now, keep it to yourself. It's a really happy energy. Really nice. Love is 100% legit. Alright, Cancer. I hope this helps. Resonate it. Please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time.